每个企业都跟我们的生命一样，我们会在生意上感到绝望、迷失，或者是太多选择。当然，我们会走到成功的道路上。每逢星期一到星期五上午十点和下午三点，我们都会邀请 Singapore Excellence Award 的得主上我们的节目，跟我们分享他们的心路里程，还有他们的成功的道路。这个节目是由 Singapore and Rich Group 荣誉呈现。我是今天的主持人，我是阿包。你可知道哦？每一个人呢，必经之路，我觉得是其中一个必经之路了，那就是结婚。今天呢，很开心，也很荣幸邀请到了一位年轻的企业家来到节目当中，接受我们今天的访问。行行出状元，也有人说到了，学历是现今社会的成功的必经之路吗？今天呢，来到节目接受我们访问的一位企业家呢，他只有 N 水准而已。不过呢，在人生的创业的旅途中，交出非常漂亮的成绩单。今天非常开心邀请到就是 Is Wedding Services 的负责人哦，来到节目当中。Hi Is， Hi Hi How are you？ Good， I should be the one asking how are you？ Okay， Nice to have you in our program itself. And earlier we mentioned saying that um, you have been in the business for the last two years, despite your qualifications. Yep. So you mentioned that you only have an N level qualification only. Yes, correct. So, why do you stop pursuing your study after your N level? Is there any particular reasons? Ah, because I found out that I like to do my own business actually. You like to do your own business. Ah, which I don't like to study, so I like to do my own business. Okay. So that's where I'm probably are going in. That's when you decide to move into your career, your business career. Then. So do you this um what kind of business were you in prior that as before you start? Your wedding services. I was in a mini mart before. Ah, ah, mini mart business before. That's the first and only business. Yeah, correct. Okay. How long were you running this business then? Ah, there were four years. For four years. Yeah. So what made decided to go into a mini mart business then? Okay, Divina. It was supported by my father-in-law actually. Mhm. So I tried to do do it first. You know. So I just keep keep on moving and moving, but it didn't fare well in the minimum business actually. Okay. Uh, was it a franchise or is that a start off? It's a start off, but it's a franchise. Wow, you must be a very tough. <laughs> yep. Uh, we are running too too short actually, too minimum actually. Too minimum, not one but two. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what was the reason behind that? Uh, what did you learn in this running the minimum business? Uh, what did you learn? Oh, I meet a lot of nice people, okay. and some are very tough. So we learn how to handle them actually. Wow. <laughs> so. Prior to that, does anyone of your family members have minimum business experience? No, actually, I'm the only one who do business in my family. You're the only one. Yeah. So what made you decide to branch into a minimum business other than you know you can go for other businesses? Oh, when I first started, I don't have any much capital with me. So my father-in-law come up with that capital, so I just try to run it. So you just try to run it. Yeah. What made you decided to close it then? Well, because I found my niche in doing what I like actually. So what do you like? I like to do, I like to decorate things actually. You like to decorate uh-huh. things. Ah, okay. So okay. so when I start to know my passion in doing something, so I just stop that minimal business and try to pursue in my designing. Wow, well, mm. I think you mentioned a very critical thing, and you found your passion. Yeah, okay. You decided to stop the business. Do you know that a lot of V business owners are? Uh, well, I think one of the things that we do not. Come back to do so, and that's to cut the losses or cut the business that we have started, mm-hmm. despite not making money at all. Yeah. <laughs> so you have two branches and not one but two. So when decided to put a full stop to the minimum business, mm-hmm. what came to mind then? Or what were you pondering at that point of time itself? Well, it's just like uh, burning my bridge, so I won't look back. Actually. Correct. But you burn your bridge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you started this business with a father-in-law, uh, input of the capital itself. Mm-hmm. What was his comment then? Uh, he was asking me if if it's not okay, then you can just stop. It's okay for him. Ah. Uh, he don't mind about it actually. It seems like you have a very supportive family. Yeah, yeah, so. correct. Wow. <laughs> so, can you share with us how much you lost at the bottom when you decided to switch 
your business. Oh, we don't make anything actually. You do not make anything. Yeah. No. After paying up all the debts, so we don't make anything. Yeah, go ahead, the credits and all. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So you just sold off and then that's the sudden thing. Yeah, make that's the, the switch thing. Itself. Can you share with us how do you manage to find your passion then in this wedding design? Uh, I love to do, because um, I got, last time I got A1 in arts actually. Wow! <laughs> Doing my N level. Okay, uh, I got that also in my A level. Really? N level, N -level. Also, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but. Um, sad to tell you that <laughs> I, I, I can't make a living out of it <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> maybe you should sometime okay. <laughs> okay for when after that I start because I love designing and drawing and stuff so happens to my cousin asked me to design for her wedding uh -huh. so I start to design but I don't have much capital to do anything sure. uh, so she come up with just $2,000 after buy all the materials I still have to fork out my own two hundred dollars. Okay. So actually, I start with two hundred dollars. Actually. Oh, so your two hundred dollars <laughs> for your this East yes, wedding yes, design services. Ah, uh, correct. Yeah. Wow. So. So from that onwards, I move on and move on, and then we get recognized by in the Malay market. Okay. Mm. Is there a particular reason why I just focus on the Malay market? Because I understand that you, first of all, uh -huh. I know that you're Malay itself, yeah, okay. so you definitely have a better understanding of the Malay wedding culture uh -huh. and stuff like that. But why just Actually, we are, we are planning to branch out more. Actually, mm -hmm. uh, we have did we have did Indian wedding before. Yeah, yeah. We had it birthday parties and all. Yes. Uh, actually, we are trying to slowly to branch out mm, into other areas, into and other services, areas and services. Uh, yeah. So, what is your niche that allows you to stand out in the Malay market? Uh, my uniqueness, actually. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Okay, when I design something, uh, I don't look at what other people do. Actually, uh, they. Well, most probably, most of them have more templates kind of thing. Yes. A templates kind of uh, dyers, Designs, designs yes. and everything. Where, whereas mine is, I get my inspiration from my customer itself. Oh, so you you customize every single yes, every wedding? Yes, every single wedding I customize. Can I say that there's no duplication at all in most of the weddings of your clients? Or uh, most of them are there unique? Slight difference. Slight uh, difference. Slight difference, yeah, correct. Wow, so <laughs> you must be charging a bomb. No, uh, I'm, I'm charging just average amount, actually. Average amount for the yeah, money and stuff. Correct. So, what gives you the inspiration to, the, to with your designs and your... My inspiration actually stuff. are my customers, actually. I would prefer to ask them what they want for their wedding. Okay. So, when they give me their preference and stuff, then I, I'll just design according to what they like. Pardon me for asking me this question okay. as well. Uh, no, being a Chinese, living in Singapore culture uh -huh. as well, we, we have... We attended Malay weddings and stuff mm, like that. Right. We also have seen a lot of Malay weddings being carried out at the void decks. Yeah, yeah. But we find that, or personally I find that, the weddings are getting more and more elaborated. Yep. <laughs> it used to be very simple when I was growing up. We just, perhaps just only a simple stage itself, uh -huh, okay. with two chairs, mm. receive the blessings of the guest itself. But nowadays, the weddings are getting <laughs> more and more elaborated. Why is that a trend? Because people like to compare okay. and compete with each other. Most of, <laughs> okay. uh, most of them are getting richer maybe. Uh, uh -huh. So they want more more designs elaborated and designs more elaborated designs and stuff. And stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So in this brand new year itself or the past one year, mm -hmm. can you share with us what's the trend in this Malay wedding market? Um, the trend now is actually more to English kind of thing. Actually. I see, more to English setting. Mm, more to English setting, rustic kind of uh -huh. thing. So I, I probably can foresee that this year, much more of that. Much more of this. Much more of this, yeah. Right. Oh, okay, that's a cool, that's a cool, cool design. Thing, yeah, right. Right. Actually, for me, the uh, design is about trend. Right? Mm -hmm. So, you just have to keep up with the trend, actually. So, how do you keep abreast of the trend? Uh, the we sold off the old things and buy the new ones. Yeah. Or probably we make the new ones, things like that, to oh, keep up with the trend. So, you buy a lot of old furniture and new furniture, yeah, mixture right. of them. In fact, I did find a lot of old furniture. I found it. You found I it? I customize it <laughs> okay. and make it into my own design actually. How big is your team then? I got five full-timers actually. S uh, since day one you started? Okay, uh, for one one year, one year I work with two people only. Okay. Me and my friend actually. And then today uh, became a team of uh, five. Yep, right. So the comprises of what? you yourself, the designer and the boss. Uh -huh, and yeah, yeah. manufacturer, uh, many... Um, Ah, we got technical we got a team of yeah of technical guys, technical guys operation to, uh, guys, operation uh, guys to put right. things together. Yep. Uh, so mm. what is the um what keeps you going in this business then? As in like you see, because you started off with one one man show and uh -huh. today you grow to a team of five. So I think there must be something that keeps you going and motivations. I, I just love to see my customers smile, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> this is something I realized that like, in most of the business owners that is one of the greatest satisfactions yeah, that you get. Okay. 
yeah, where our customers smile. Yeah, and yeah. because wedding is one in a lifetime yes, issue itself. Yeah. It blows away all the tiredness and hardship actually. Yes. <laughs> so, for a wedding, a typical wedding, how mm-hmm. much time do you need to prepare for the wedding itself? If the whole package will cost up 20k, then. 20k. Mm. So that only comprises of the decorations. Uh, that the will be included the catering too. Oh, okay. uh, catering too. Excluded okay. the bridal and stuff. Uh. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. But 20, for a 20,000 package, would that consider an average or middle or high? Middle. Yeah, middle package. A middle package yeah, so you can see that the trend in Singapore is that more and more Singaporeans are willing to invest yeah. in a wedding <laughs> like this, correct? Correct. So, if you are going around to shop for a wedding, can you consider yourself as wedding planners? Um, can also. Can also, correct? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So because it also comprises of other wedding services yes, along yeah. the way itself. Mm-hmm. So, can you share with us, um, when you are looking for wedding designers or planners, uh, someone like our service, is there any particular things that we should look out for? Okay, uh, you should look out for the company profile first. Okay. Uh, before engaging anybody. Because it's very important to know their company, uh, foundation actually. Sure. Uh, because there are, there, are ma- there are some cases actually happening, so uh, we don't want our customer to feel to feel that kind. So they have to really focus on the, find out about the company first okay. before engaging any company. Can you share with us any, um, mm. any memorable um, wedding case studies that you, 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 you're so proud of it? Is there any artwork that you're so proud of it? Artwork? I think yeah. I, I should share my hardship actually. Yeah? Okay. Okay, I did, I did a wedding decoration before. It's a one-man show actually. Well, <laughs> my friend did not turn up, so that was the start of my business. Uh, that was time. two years back. Mm-hmm, correct. So, I think that's the most memorable thing. Uh, okay. Because I learned a lot from there. You know? yeah. Can you try and ask, what was your learning curve like in this journey? Learning curve? Just to... I don't know what to say, first is actually. <laughs> <laughs> learning curve. Uh. Is there anything that you must pick it up along the way? Because, you see, running a minimum business and running a... Uh, Design wedding design mm-hmm, services okay. business is a totally two different ball games. So yeah, okay. Yeah, from one running with uh, merchandise, <laughs> and one is just purely selling concepts, ideas, yes, and yeah. then put into uh, places mm-hmm. and actualize it, materialize it. Okay. What are the um, mm-hmm. uh, knowledge or skills that you need to pick up along the way for your business? Then? No, I think I have to input more more designs actually. I I think I have to leverage on my my manpower. Okay. Uh huh. I have to teach them actually along the way. Oh. Uh, so as as I grow, actually, I'm teaching people and I'm learning also. Yes. That's the thing. That's a that's a that's a learning curve. <laughs> we curve we and still training. have to train uh, our staff. Correct. Um, so do you have any goals and visions, uh, goals or plans for 2013? Uh, for this year, I was thinking to to be recognized lah, much more recognized actually. Recognized. Uh, How do you measure? Recognize. <laughs> okay, uh, as the most reliable, mm, reliable services. vendors. Yeah, right. That's one of the. So you, I will, can foresee that you'll be participating in a lot of um, wedding services, mm. exhibitions. Yeah, we're having stuff, one yeah. exhibition this week actually. Wow. Uh, at okay, okay. Singapore Expo. Singapore Expo yeah. itself. So, for our listeners and our, for our viewers, how can they um, get in contact with you for your services? Okay, you can go through my Facebook, okay. my contact number, and my email address. So can you share with us your Facebook okay, my, my Facebook is East Wedding Designs. That will be uh, I-S-S-W-E-D-D-I-N-G-D-E-S-I-G-N-S. Uh, uh, I, uh, East Wedding, Wedding Designs. Designs. Yeah. So you can always go on Facebook and Facebook is yeah. itself and the team yeah, itself. Okay. So any contact number we can contact you guys. You call me at 9101-2513. Mm-hmm. That's your mobile number. 911 mm, number. Wow. Uh, okay, that is great. So in 2013, where do you foresee yourself there other than creating a brand, uh, being one of the recognized vendor in the market itself? Other than that, where do you see yourself in this one year, brand new year, mm-hmm. next, um, the next five years and even ten years down the road? I see myself as, uh, not, not, don't say successful, I think we're mm-hmm. quite successful. Uh, I mean, uh, oh, <laughs> see, yeah, yeah, I'm being so humble. <laughs> Yeah, being in the business itself, we all of us aspire to be a successful business owners itself, yeah, and businessmen. Right. But I strongly believe that you enjoy this business, you must have put in a lot of hard work and time and effort in this mm, truly, business itself. Yeah, truly. I also understand that you are a father of three. Yep, I got three daughters actually. <laughs> yes, how to manage, you know, how to manage your business and because first of all, mm-hmm. most of the Malays wedding are held over the weekend itself. Yep, right. 
So your weekend are definitely gone. Yes. <laughs> so how do you spend time with your family members and your wife? Uh, I, uh, my wife is a very understanding person actually. Okay. Uh, she's taking care of my kids. So mm. she's the solution to everything? <laughs> yeah, because I was telling her that uh, I need to do this because uh, if not I will miss the, another 10 years Correct. of my life of not doing this. Okay. So she's all way behind She's all the way to support me. Yeah. Oh, that's a, I think that's a, that's one of the key elements of this yes, business, correct? Yeah, thank God I got this with my wife. <laughs> uh, yes. So when, um, when you know that, um, you know you are being awarded this excellent award, uh -huh. how do you feel then? I was so surprised actually. Surprised? Uh, I was, I was, I was told that I was nominated by other companies, mm -hmm. which I was surprised actually because I'm actually quite new in the market. Okay. Uh, and the one that nominated me was like giving compliment about my company was such the senior, the pioneers in the market wow. actually, uh, which they are having the business for more than ten years. So actually, in fact, it's, it's it was not, a surprise actually. It's, a, it was not, it's more than a surprise because <laughs> first of all, you won the recognition of um, a veteran in the business. Uh -huh, okay. and you got this award. Mm -hmm. So, how do you think that this award can contribute to your business? Ah, uh, that. I think this is what will push my business further, I think. Push your business to bring mm, the heights, right? yeah. So, if there's anything you can to share with our listeners and viewers from uh -huh. Inline 8, okay. what would that be? Uh, just try for your goal, no matter how hard it is, actually. Just try for your goal, Just right? try for your goal. No don't look back, yeah, don't look back. <laughs> but I think you mentioned something that's very critical also, and you also burn all breaches yeah. when you decided to branch into this new business. Yeah, if you, I mean, if you want to step up to something new, you don't look back anymore. Correct. So you just got to burn your bridge, that's all. Any regret till today? No, there's no regret. I still, I'm loving it actually. Yeah, loving it. <laughs> actually. So you're foreseeing that you'll be the missus for the next 10, 20 years? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> surely, surely, yeah. <laughs> so I believe that perhaps since you have three beautiful daughters, I assume that one fine day, you might be the one designing for your own daughters. Ah, that's right. Uh, I, will, I will love to actually. You love yeah. to, right? <laughs> I have no idea about you, but when I started my own business then, I thought that, no, how good if I can be one of the, because I do, I, I'm doing training businesses. Okay. So I thought that, oh, how nice if my own children can attend my our own training. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. We, we will love that sometimes. Right? We yeah. love to have that also, correct? Yeah, okay. Thank you, Is, for coming um, on air to accept our interview itself. Mm -hmm. It's a great honor to have you with us for this afternoon. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, honor too. Today, I'm very happy to invite you to Is, from Is Is Wedding Design, the founder of the show, to come to our interview. 今天呢，通过他的访谈当中呢，得知了一个很重要的讯息，那就是学历确实很重要，不过并不是一切。你看，他就简简单单的一个 N 水准，那就是中式学历毕业，学历而已。不过呢，在今天呢，在他的事业，在他生命中交出非常漂亮的成绩单，我相信你我也可以的。我是阿宝，非常感谢你们收看这一期的封面人物，我们下一期再见。嗯